Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode with Apple. I'm doing things a bit differently, usually I play one pack at a time, but I really want to see um, Apple and Ava's stories overlap and them interact more. So I'm going to be playing Apple and Ava, the snow is rising, sorry, um, sidetracked. There are some things that I'm going to be doing differently with Apple as she grows up as a wolf. Um, she's getting older, she will be five now, and she's learning lessons. Um, and so we lost two pups to sickness, so Apple will be doing things differently. She will be staying with a pup at all times. She will also not stay at the den alone anymore because of blueberries. And she will keep pack affinity up for that reason. So uh, we need to mark territory. Um, we need two more hexes. So we'll probably take those two back. Wow, they absolutely destroyed our territory. So her den's over here, so we'll probably go we'll mark... Uh, mark these, come back around and mark these, and then... Have puppies! Oh, look at that pregnant baby. Okay, let's go. I do have some things planned in the near future for Apple and Ava's story, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, that's the difference between Ava and Apple, is that Ava will probably avoid going, well, will avoid going into a stranger territory, um, and she avoids conflict, while Apple is fine with it, she tries not to uh, get into conflicts, but she's not afraid of one. Now Ava isn't really afraid of a conflict, she just will do anything not to get into a conflict. In what I have planned for future episodes, Leo, leader of the White Dove Pack, does come in and um, does affect the story a bit. Quite a lot actually, because right now Ava and Apple are kind of just ignoring each other's existence and getting on with life. So that's going to change when Leo comes into the picture. I should stop giving a sneak peeks. It's more if I can pull it off, <laughs> if it'll happen or not. Oh, there's two rabbits. Go for it, dragon. Go get it! Oh, um... I can't put exclamation marks. Great. Okay, perks.
Oh. Um. Um. I would have liked speed, but you know what? We'll take strength. Then. Sick pups are more likely to recover. Um, we don't really need health. I'm not a fan of good memory, so we'll take territory on mine. Advance to age five. Oh! This is the second time in a row that we've gotten seven pups. Wow. Okay, Apple. One, two, three, four girls and three boys. Names, people. Names of fruit. I know that there's a lot more fruits out there than I know of. Do we have a runt? Yeah, we do. We do indeed have a runt, and our runt is first after then. Holy moly! That's a pale pup. I think it's gonna be our biggest pup, 5.5. Oh no, he's not. We've got some cute little puppies. Dragon, would you please feed the puppy? Oh, look at him being such a good dad. Play with your mommy. Beautiful, whole family in that picture.
deck of energies already full. <laughs> So we've got seven puppies, again, and we've got four yearlings, yeah, four yearlings. Like I said, Apple does not want to be left alone at the den with the puppies anymore. Pups more food. Oh no, is there no elk? We oh goodness. Okay, maybe we go and mark those. Once the pups are a bit tired. For now we can do some pup cam. <coughs> This is a vocal litter. <laughs> a lot of howling. Go look at dragon. Look at the wall turn around. Oh my word, you're hungry. Pup, why have you did you not get any food the first time around? The yearlings that I see, like, staying at the den and helping out a lot would be probably Peach and Goji. Sticking around to help out. Only leaving, like, being pup sitters. Um, as for Plum and Grapefruit, I think they'd go out quite a lot on their own. And just explore their world that they now have access to. The dragon just leave again. <coughs> yeah, 
yeah, he's coming back. You still have food to give. Wow. Two ads like, no, I'm full. I'm staying asleep. Four M needs food. Two M needs food. The rest are pretty cool. Look at them wobble. Look at that size difference. That's quite a size difference. Okay, mock territory, see if we can find something for this pack to eat. Dragon, she just said stay behind. Now, up there is Neo's den, but there's not a lot of commotion there because there's only two pups in there right now. So, I think that Apple would be pretty oblivious to the fact that there's a den there. I know that she can probably smell, but uh, I'm going to say the wind is taking it away from her. The scent. <gasps> is this an anther? Skull? I haven't gotten my skull yet. I need a skull. Do I run past it? Wolf skull. That makes sense for clues. Yay! Wait, can the pups play with skulls? They can, I want to take this back. 
Uh, worst case scenario, they end up hunting beavers. There is a beaver trail oh. right by the end. So, so Apple has never tasted beaver. I played her mom before beavers came out, so obviously her mom probably never tasted beaver either. But I have a feeling that if this pack starts starving, Dragon will say, why haven't we tried hunting beavers? And Apple's probably going to raise an eyebrow and be like, what do you mean hunt beavers? And I just see that interaction being a bit funny. Because <clears throat> Dragon will learn that his um, mate has never had beaver. There's a beaver, see? This is the trail right here. She's gonna give what food she does have in her stomach to the cops. <coughs> Not that she found much. It's not. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm hoping the skull that isn't an omen. Two happy would it be four? Yeah, she is. It's four M that needs to eat. She wants all the pups on 100% hunger before we sleep. <coughs> no, they're all tired. Okay. <gasps> Three pups, oh I hate that. Oh, that's probably your first litter. Who have just dispersed. Oh, I love how I just realized that. Are those new dreams? I'm pretty sure those are new dreams. Okay, let's see what awaits for us outside. No elk scent. Yet again. I think we'll sleep once more. Can we? See if we can get Dragon to sleep next to her ma his mate. Here we go. That's cute. Your parents are hungry. And there's elk. Pup stays in the den. I mean, if you can catch it. Oh. Are we hunting pronghorn? I've never actually hunted a pronghorn. 
What the heck, dragon? What the? Okay. Holy moly, dragon. How the heck? Dragon was just like, stuff it, I'm going for it. What the heck, dragon? Dragon, you seriously are a dragon. I want to see if we can get him to hunt another one. Imagine. Uh, we're falling down the side of the mountain. Or was that just a good luck spree? Yeah, I think that was a good luck spree. Also, that oak scent is gone. <clears throat> Maybe we can hunt a beaver. I think Dragon will be like, we could go top this off with a beaver. And I think this is where the odd conversation would come in, where Apple would say, hunt a beaver? Question mark. And he'll be like, yeah, food. And she'll be like, I've never had beaver. And he's going to be like, you've never had beaver? I'd say, so in Ava's episode, she hunted an elk back there, so maybe she scared off the elk and just hopped. <coughs> she would definitely mess up the first hunt. This is definitely not the most efficient way to hunt a beaver. Okay, dragon's going for it. I love how he leaves it to her to eat, like as if he knows this is her first time ever having beaver. That's another beaver. Do we need to hunt it? No, but dragon wants it. Come on, grab it. Dragon would be like, and that's how you do not hunt a beaver. Oh, damn it. Okay. Where'd that carcass go now? That was her first beaver, which is pretty cool. Hello, puppies. Apple's first beaver and her first pronghorn.
But yeah, as the pups chomp on the, in the background and 3M picks up that skull and runs away with it, um, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode, which would be Ava. Thank you for watching. Bye!